Uh, I'm gonna talk about the movement of molecules towards a cell. Uh, first of all, I'll talk about passive transport, which includes diffusion, osmosis, facilitated diffusion. First of all, diffusion is the movement from high concentration to the low concentration. This is a p picture of diffusion. As you can see, the movement is from high concentration to low concentration. So eventually, both sides become equal. Uh, sec uh, there are three, you can classify all solutions uh, in three based on the concentration. First, isotonic, second, hypertonic, and third, hypotonic. Uh, this, is a, these are, this is a brief picture of all three solutions. As you can see, isotonic, the isotonic solution has the same amount of water and solute. Hypertonic has more solute and less water. Hypotonic has less solute and more water. First of all, isotonic solution has equal solute and equal water. Uh, this is how it looks like. Um, a cell has no problem in this water. It doesn't shrivel, nor it doesn't, uh, bur it doesn't burst. Uh, secondly, hypertonic solution. It has more solute and less water. This is how it looks like. Uh, it, as you can see, it has more solute than the isotonic solution. And the problem is that the cell loses water and so it shrivels and eventually dies. Third of all, thirdly, there is um, the hypotonic solution. It has less solute and more water. As you can see, it has less solute than the isotonic solution and definitely less solute than the hypertonic solution. Uh, the problem is that the cell gains water and so it bursts and this eventually leads to death of the cell. Uh, on uh, osmosis is the process of diffusion of water. Uh, uh, as I told as I told before, diffusion is the movement of high concentration to low concentration. Uh, osmosis is the same is uh, except that osmosis is the term that refers uh, specifically to water. Uh, facilitated diffusion is the diffusion through protein channels. Uh, as you can see that these protein channels help the diffusion and diffusion and so to so the molecules move from the high concentration to the lo low concentration through these protein channels. Uh, now I'll talk about active transport. Uh, active transport um, requires energy while the passive transport, which I talked before, doesn't need uh, require any energy. Uh, the energy required in active transport is called ATP, and this is because cells may need to move molecules against concentration gradient. Uh, sodium potassium pump. This is the first uh, active transport, and it's also called as protein pump. It requires ATP. Uh, this protein pump in the picture is here to... Uh, move the molecules that are against the concentration gradient and endocytosis in, uh, includes phagocytosis and pinocytosis and uh, it the what it does is that it moves large molecules into a cell vesicles and vacuoles have a role in this process uh, first of all phagocytosis uh, also known as cellular eating, fuses with lysosome from digestion. Uh, pinocytosis is a cell is cellular drinking, uh, but it has non-specific process. Uh, exotite, last of all, exocytosis it releases this substances. It's the opposite of endocytosis. Um, it's similar to endocytosis, but instead of uh, pushing the large molecules into the cell, it pushes it out. In other words, it releases the molecule, the large molecules. Uh, so you can say that it's opposite from endocytosis. Thank you for listening.